Welcome back, Central Families. It is time to hear about what happens next in the Easter story. The night of Passover, Jesus and his disciples went to a garden to talk to God. There, Jesus fell to his knees and prayed. Suddenly, a crowd entered the garden carrying torches and weapons. Leading the way was Judas. Who remembers who Judas was? Judas was the disciple who betrayed Jesus. Judas walked to Jesus and pointed him out. Jesus didn't fight his arrest, though. After this, the soldiers took Jesus to the home of the high priest, and people began to mock and beat him. The next morning, the religious leaders questioned Jesus. When he told them he was the Son of God, the leaders got so mad. They sent Jesus before Pilate, the Roman governor, because no one could be put to death without the approval of the Roman government. Pilate found Jesus to be not guilty, but the religious leaders insisted he be charged. So Pilate sent him to Herod, the Roman ruler of the region. But Herod didn't find Jesus guilty of any crime either and sent him back to Pilate. See, people wanted to kill Jesus. They shouted, crucify him, crucify him. Finally, Pilate agreed. Jesus would be put to death. They put a crown of thorns on him and forced Jesus to carry a giant wooden cross on his back. These crosses were made of really heavy wooden beams. They weighed a lot. Once they reached where Jesus would die, the soldiers nailed him to the cross. While he was there on the cross, some shouted insults and mocked him. How do you think that made Jesus feel? Jesus responded to them in a very loving way, though. There, Jesus was hanging from the cross, dying. And Jesus asked God to forgive those people who were being mean and hurting him. Why do you think Jesus asked God to forgive them? That's right, because Jesus loved them. Jesus' love for his people is so great. Later that day, the sun stopped shining and darkness filled the land. Jesus cried out to God and breathed his last breath. Jesus didn't have to die on the cross. He was an innocent man. He never sinned, but he chose to, so that way those who believe in him would no longer be separated from God by their sins. That includes you and me. Jesus loves us. Jesus died in order to make it possible for us to be with him forever. Now, I know today's lesson is sad, but our verse tells us what exciting event happened next. So, Today, for our verse activity, you can get out a piece of paper and draw a cross on it. And then get out your Bible and look up John chapter 11, verses 25 through 26. It says, I am the resurrection and the life. That verse tells us what's going to happen next. Let's keep reading. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. John 11, 25 through 26. I want you to take that verse, John 11, again, verse 25 through 26, and write it however you want inside the cross that you drew. Don't forget to have your parents take a picture of it and post it on their social media, tagging Central Assembly Kids. We will see you tomorrow for our weekly blessing. Have a great weekend, guys.